Hi there folks, um, this is being recorded on my uh, Lumux camera and um, I'm hoping that uh, the quality is a little bit less uh, soft focused than the, uh, the last video. Um, I'm endeavouring slowly to improve the production values of these videos. Um, they're never going to be top quality but... Um, but yeah, the life proof case my iPhone was in, had a, uh, luckily I, I realised had a, a hole in it and um, the actual um, parts of the um, case where the lenses and whatnot we're looking through were um, quite cloudy. So that's probably why it looked like it did. It had that very sort of, uh, you know, film noir, you know, soft focus look to it. Which, you know, might be okay, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is hopefully going to be a bit more 1080p. I'm, I, I'm not going to 4K. I don't think my um, uh, PCs and, and Macs are fast enough to deal with it. And... Uh, I think 1080 is probably good enough, I'm hoping. Anyway, um, as you can see behind me, um, the blackboard is um, finally finished and is getting some use. Um, you can probably see um, for you uh, math students out there that there's some trig uh, identities there. Um, you're probably thinking that's simple stuff, you should know that. Um, I should know it, um, but um, I thought I did know it. Um, I went into the uh, first maths lessons. I've had my first week at university and um, which is why we're doing this video and uh, I had to do um, a quiz at the end of it now there's going to be 10 quizzes which is going to be 50% of our mark luckily this first quiz and I say luckily because I went really crap in it um, the first quiz um, is just a test one it's, it doesn't count towards the marks and um, I did everything I told my students not to do in an examination I panicked um, I didn't have working out paper on the table in front of me um, I essentially gave up halfway through it. Um, I had to, um, you know, it was some really quite simple questions where they're asking you to convert degrees to radians without a calculator because there was no calculators allowed in the examination. And um, they're all multiples of um, 30 and 60 and 45 and whatnot. And all you really had to do was um, find the um, fractional um, uh, variety in radians of each of those um, degrees and, and do the uh, fractional addition. So. Um, it's not that hard, um, but for me, on the day, panicked, got, you know, completely lost, started writing down exact trig ratios instead of radians and just did crazy stuff like that, so complete disaster, um, but it, um, you know, spurred me on to go home and think about things a little bit more and do a few more examples and um, over this weekend I will be doing more, but um, I'm also trying to spend my weekends doing some artistic stuff as well, which I will show, show you shortly. Because um, the idea of um, my present um, exploration in this uh, sort of technical field of engineering is to try and marry it with the idea of being a bit more artistic as well. So in the past, when I've um, had this all-encompassing uh, interest in things, uh, all things technical, um, I would quite often just drop the art um, practice of making art. So um, in my adolescence and high school and whatnot, I just got completely obsessed by radio and became a ham, um, a ham, ah, mosquitoes, uh, became a ham um, operator. So if, for those of you that don't know what ham radio is, it's basically um, uh, building um, antennas and building radio communications equipment and experimenting with radio, talking to people overseas. It's kind of um, a very high-tech version of CB radio. Um, it's still happening. Um, not it's probably not as popular as it used to be, but um, you know, in the days before the internet, um, you know, I had a radio transceiver in my bedroom. I was talking to people in uh, America, in uh, Japan, uh, all over Australia. Um, and I was very involved in that hobby with one of my friends from high school. And um, as a result of that interest in radio, I completely um, lost interest in art. Um, I did it in high school, but, um, you know, I did my major work in the last two weeks. It was a complete disaster, essentially. And, um, and then later on when I had my first midlife crisis and went to art school, conversely I, you know, I was still interested in things technical but I wasn't doing any, any, any real technical work. And then whilst I was a high school teacher, um, I went and did some uh, PD on um, Arduino microcontrollers and um, I got very involved in the school, school robotic program and then I sort of started to be interested in it again. So. Um, I'm now trying to um, keep both sides of my brain, my spatial and visual side, my right side and my 
left analytical side, having that conversation that needs to happen to keep the brain really active. And um, I've also been um, thinking more about the graphs. You'd think that a visual person like myself would be interested in graphs and how they relate to um, the numbers, the mathematics, but I really didn't make that connection. And I'm starting to try and do that more now. Um, so it's never too late to learn something new. So that's what's happening um, on the um, maths and art front. Um, first week at uni, uh, had a lot of fun. I haven't been in for more than a couple of days. Um, so a lot, lot of stuff online, um, but it's been good. Um, we also started SolidWorks, which is um, a computer-aided design program. And um, I'm going to um, be you know, spending a lot of time learning that as well. That's going to be a steep learning curve. But it's something I've always wanted to do. And I know you can teach yourself online. Um, but without the impetus of actually passing tests and having a reason to do it, I probably wouldn't. So um, I'm hoping by the end of this uh, five years, if I survive, um, I'll be a real ninja on um, SolidWorks CAD as well. Um, so that's um, first week. Um, and use of the blackboard, which um, you saw me setting up in the last video. Um, what else do I have to tell you about um, what's happening? Um, I will show you now uh, some of the uh, creative stuff I'm doing as well, or the stuff that I've just started. And um, yeah, and as, as this um, journey continues, um, hopefully more videos and probably more structured videos. Um, oh yes, the robotics um, for, from when I was at high school. Um, you can actually Google the, the uh, Google site that I created it's Mr. C Robotics, and it's a Google site. If you put into Google Mr. C Robotics um, Google site, it should come up. Uh, if it doesn't, in the comments below, let me know, and I'll I'll um I'll link to it. I might even put it in the, in the, in the links below if I get if I remember. Um, but there's a whole series of um, exercises on Arduino. I started with just um, you know creating um, a stoplight. And for those of you that don't know about Arduino, um, definitely look it up. It's a um, free um, open source hardware and, um, and software situation as well. And it's basically a microcontroller. So it's able to, it's an electronic um, computer device. It controls things. And you can plug it into the internet. Um, uh, it can go on Wi-Fi. You've got all these things that can plug into it to make it a camera, to, um, to make it control different things. So it's really good for robotics as well. Um, we built um, collision avoiding robots. Uh, I think the whole kit all up. Um, I got a whole lot of stuff from Banggood. I think it was like forty something dollars at the time for a robot. So very very cheap as well. And um, you can buy obviously the real Arduino costs about twenty something dollars, but you can buy clones for like two bucks. Um, so they're almost um, a throwaway piece of technology. Um, not that I advocate that, of course. But uh, if you blow it up, it's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, Arduino, um, I'm probably going to uh, be involved in some of that stuff, I'm assuming, down the track as well as um, a mechatronics um, a degree. So that's uh, my foray into robotics um, that sort of like stimulated my interest in technology again. And now, like I said, um, after teaching um, high school uh, engineering studies, um, I'm now studying engineering. Uh, the online thing at university, sorry I'm jumping around so much, I haven't scripted this, so I'm just going to you know, do a stream of consciousness. Uh, the online uh, situation does have its drawbacks, but one of the good things about it is that it's giving me a bit more flexibility with the timetable for um, penciling in casual work. I was a bit worried about how that would go. It's only early days, but the first two weeks um, I've already gotten some um, days casual. And one of those days I got to teach the engineering studies class that I probably would have been teaching had I been still at the school, which was nice. Um, and they were doing uh, force couples and reactive couples. And um, so I got to teach them that lesson, which was um, good for me as well, because uh, while I was teaching it, I made a, the penny dropped on something that I hadn't understood for such a long time. So teaching can be a great way of um, understanding um, a subject. So uh, never underestimate the power of um, actually being in a situation where 
you teach someone something because it's a really, really powerful way of learning it as well. Um, and that's partly why I'm doing these videos as well. At some point in time, um, if I come up against a concept that I really struggle with and then I finally crack, um, I will be um, doing um, a quick demonstration up here on the blackboard um, to show you how the, um, I got to a point where the penny actually dropped. So if you're a mature age student like me and um, your cognitive decline is set in and, and you, um, you're processing a bit slower maybe than the young people around you, um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to pr provide some assistance. Um, and also, also, if you do have any questions about um, you know, my journey thus far, I'm not even close to being an engineer, I'm only two weeks in, but um, if you want to know how it's going or you've got some questions, put them in the comment section below, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and yeah, like and subscribe because um, I need about another 500 and something people to get to the 1,000 subscribers necessary for Google to start paying me again. And they used to pay me five bucks a month. So that would be nice if they were doing that again. Anyway, I'm gonna pick the camera up. We're not even gonna cut. And I'm going to um, show you some art that I made last night. And, um, and then that'll end this video. Okay. So that was last night's effort. Um, it's based on a photograph uh, that I took on holidays. And it's of a lovely um, hill tribe girl. So that's going to be um, probably an oil sketch. I don't know how finished it's going to be. I, I'll see how I go when I start, how I feel about it. And um, also working on more uh, t-shirt type designs and stuff. So that's going to be part of a t-shirt as well. And um, yeah, so that's it. So I will um, I'll see you in the next video.